Hi, I'm Jesse James of WTCR, and I'm here in Sandy Hook, Kentucky at the home Keith Whitley shared with his mother, Faye, father, Elmer, sister, Mary, and brothers, Randy and Dwight. We're here to talk about Dwight's album on Neon Records, Brotherly Love, a tribute to the musical legacy left behind by his baby brother, Keith. I asked Dwight about the experience of recording his first album. Dwight, what inspired you to do the tribute album, Brotherly Love? Two uh, very dear friends of mine asked me to do this tribute album, and my first answer to them was no, I was not looking for a musical career, and I didn't want people to think that I was trying to replace Keith because no one can do that. But uh, they were pretty persistent, and uh, so finally they convinced me to do it. And uh, when we got the material from uh, Tree Publishing Company, the songs were so good that uh, you know I, I really got into it. And now that we've completed the album, I'm really happy with the way it turned out, and I'm looking forward to uh, bigger things. I've been playing and singing as long as I can remember. My sister, both my brothers and I, started at a very early age. Our parents and grandparents all were musically inclined and uh, had a big influence on us. And my mother had an old collection of Hank Williams and Lefty Frizzell records and we all learned a lot from those. I've been influenced by many artists. If I had to name just one, it would be uh, Hank Williams Sr. But other artists that influenced me were Waylon Jennings, Johnny Cash, Lefty Frizzell, and I've been influenced by a lot of bluegrass artists, Flatt and Scruggs, the Stanley Brothers, and the great Bill Monroe. I love all types of music. I like rock, country, and bluegrass, and blues. Did you and Keith have a band and perform together? Yes, as a matter of fact, uh, I started playing, uh, we both started playing at a very early age. We started out in uh, country. Uh, later in high school, I had a, a rock band, the old 50s style rock, and Keith used to sit in in that band with me. And, uh, you know, later on, I really got into bluegrass. And uh, Keith and I had a bluegrass band, and we played local TV, local radio. Uh, we had one radio show that ran for about three years. And uh, we taped the uh, shows on Wednesday night, and we had a bluegrass show on Saturday. Uh, Sunday we did a gospel show. And it was during that time that uh, Keith met a young fellow by the name of Ricky Skaggs. And uh, they continued to play professionally, and I remained at home to raise my sons. Were you and Keith close? Yes, we were very close. Uh, both my brothers and I were as close as I think brothers could be. Uh, we were not only just brothers, but best friends. We enjoyed doing things together, from hunting, fishing, riding motorcycles, to playing music. We all shared a common interest in, uh, in music. Uh, what do you think of all the attention toward Keith Whitley and his ever-increasing popularity? It doesn't surprise me at all. You know, Keith uh, was such a great singer. He sang with such emotion and such voice control. There's so many new artists that uh, has been influenced by Keith, and probably he's influenced more than uh, anyone I could name, unless it would be Hank Williams. But I'm really happy to see that uh, people are not forgetting Keith and carrying on his music. And that's, that's the main reason that I've done this album. How do you think Keith would feel about you doing the tribute album, Brotherly Love? I think you'd be real happy that I'm doing it. Uh, Keith always wanted uh, us to do something together. And, you know, I kept putting him off. You know, I, I planned on doing that later. But uh, Keith would really be happy that I'm doing this. And uh, I can just see him looking down on us now and smiling and saying, Brother, I'm glad you're doing this. Well, this is a 1987 Ford Crown Victoria. It was a uh, detective car in the Kentucky State Police Force. I bought the car at an auction. And uh, since then, I've had the engine souped, the transmission built, and had the car painted. This is my personal car. I drive it all the time. I have uh, three other cars just like this, different colors. Uh, I'm kind of an, a collector. I've had these cars since uh, 1965. I was my first one. And uh, they handle great. Everything's heavy duty. The suspension's heavy duty. The engine's got a lot of power. And uh, I just love them. So uh, I have four that are in this condition. I have a total of seven. Uh, like I said, I, I'm just sort of a collector. This is a uh, Smith & Wesson Model 2944 Magnum. This was the gun similar to the one that uh, Clint Eastwood used in the movie Dirty Harry. Uh, this is just a few of my guns. I have quite a few. This is a commemorative uh, William Cody 3030 Buffalo Bill rifle. I, they were made back in the early 70s. Uh, it's probably one of my most prized guns. Probably one of my older guns is this uh, L.C. Parker. 12-gauge 
double barrel. It was made around the turn of the 1900s, and uh, I have a couple of these. Mostly collect, but I do hunt, target shoot, and uh, I've always been a gun enthusiast. My father taught me gun safety and, and uh, got me my first gun when I was about uh, eight years old, and I've always been fascinated by guns. My brothers, Randy and Keith, were also gun enthusiasts. I understand your wife Flo is operating Keith's Fan Club. How is it doing? Well, it's doing real good, Jesse. It grows daily. You know, when Keith passed away, uh, the lady that was handling his fan club really didn't know what to do with it. Uh, Jack McFadden, Keith's manager, called my mother and uh, asked her if she would take it over. And uh, Mom really didn't want all that responsibility and work, so she asked Flo if uh, she would help her with it. And, of course, Flo was eager to help. And uh, Flo's really worked hard on the... Uh, a fan club membership grows daily uh, and we have members from Australia Europe all over the world and uh, it's really doing well do you have a fan club my fan club is headed up by my wife Flo and it's uh, growing daily and hopefully uh, it will get large as large as Keith's